Is there an acid test? Like you, you mentioned when you, you're selling a product and you're going to call someone, they're probably going to be in Nebraska in the heartland somewhere. It's going to be a woman named Karen or something like that. Is that an acid test? Like, do you really need to, like, can you build products for, uh, erudite hipsters in, in metropolis cities? You know what I mean? Like, can you, like, sh should you be, should one of your assets be at your acid test be, will people in middle America buy this? Cause it's like, you know, I, I hear people even talking about running e-commerce campaigns and like blocking California, A, because it's more expensive and B, just because it, they don't find they have the right type of audience there. Like, do you need to focus on products that have this sort of mass appeal or is there still room to come in and try to reach people with, you know, like I, if you, I, I think about it, there must be, right? Because you look at the fifth watches or movement watches or whatever, like these have these sort of have these like, you know, New York, San Francisco vibes to them. But I'm wondering your thoughts on like when you're actually picking your niche, is it important to focus more on the middle than the, than on the fringe? I don't think location, the niche doesn't matter. The only thing that does matter is the five is, seconds. Well, no, it, when you're talking about the audience, it's the, there's an acid test for the audience. Uh, so there's an acid test. If your product is even a service. Okay. If you have a legal service, let's say I'm a lawyer and I want to run a Facebook ad. Actually, I think that's illegal. I don't think you can promote yourself. Let's, let's talk. Um, I'm a dentist. If you want to do great in direct response ads and generate leads for a dentist, don't just run a general dental video. In five seconds, show the value of coming to that dentist. Whiten teeth, straighten teeth, fix teeth, right? Show the value. TV's on the ceiling. Love that. Yeah. Show the value. <laughs> the outcome of what's going to happen or with or with you know torque energy you know it is you can show the value of like actually torque energy is a bad example um let's see here um we got a brand stick it that we work with it's a wine accessory it takes this the sulfite additives out of wine that some people are allergic to but most people get like worsened effects from drinking wine i don't know i'm not I, i'm actually allergic to sulfites so i don't drink wine which is funny why they're a client of ours, but if you can show stirring this little drink stir in your glass of wine for three seconds and now the salt and like put text on the video, sulfites are gone. That's not actually showing the product working, but you can communicate in five seconds. You stir it in a glass of wine. Now the sulfite additives in your wine are gone and you're not going to experience those side effects, right? That is a great direct response video. That is a direct response product. You can win in a direct response atmosphere if you can communicate in five seconds for it. Um, but anyways, going into the audience is, is the audience targetable enough online? Do, do, are they available? So to your, I think you said like hipsters in Seattle. Sure. Okay. So you now are, you're, you're, you have to target the state of Seattle. Uh, or, you know, Seattle, Washington, the city, right? Greater Seattle area, direct marketing area around there. Um, and now you have to start finding interests. Well, as soon as I have to start guessing interests and hipster isn't targetable, you probably aren't off to a great start. As soon as you have to start guessing what people are into, right? You're probably like, eh, um, this isn't good. With the wine, people who drink wine. It's a big audience. With, with you know, if you're going to sell print on demand, you know, uh, stuff for gearheads, like you're going to target people who are into, you know, diesel trucks, motorcycles, whatever it is, like gearhead interest. There's direct gearhead interest. Yeah. There's not necessarily like direct hipster interest. So if you cannot, the, if, if the acid test is, if you cannot directly target with like a straightforward targeting, of, then it's probably not something you want to get started with. Is it something you can grow into? Absolutely. Is it impossible to start with it? No. Will it take more money and a lot more testing? Yes, it will for sure. Facebook needs a targeting option to target things for when before they were cool. And then you could target hipsters, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they have that uh, preemptive uh, time travel targeting yet. But uh, but yeah, so I, I'm going to continue. I, I, I There's... I, 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 there's something I'm going to work on my five second pitch. I'm going to come back at you with it when we do another podcast. I've, I've got a few other ideas I'm going to uh, run by you. 